It is the 7th of March, 1942, and the drum is still off the coast of Japan. And we've come across another little sneaky sneak trying to get away from Japan and out to run supplies to their bases. And so we are going to intercept him and take him out. Now, we only have two torpedoes left in our front tubes. We still have quite a few in our aft tubes. We have 10 total. We're pretty far from him, 8,500 yards, and our torpedoes only have a range of 8,900 yards. He is unarmed, and so theoretically I could just surface and pop him a few times with our uh, deck gun. And so I might just do that since we are so low on torpedoes. And I should be able to go ahead and um, do that and get some good hits on him, I think. Maybe even sink him. We might have to use one torpedo to sink him. I don't know. Our deck gun is in the front, so that is good. So let's go ahead and speed up 20 knots. Yep. We're going to go ahead and go narrow. And we'll do uh, we'll do AP shells first. Just because I want to get a few good solid hits in. Really? How did we lose contact with him? On the surface. We can see less on the surface than we can submerged. Well, I, I guess that makes sense. With the hydrophone, you get you get some additional quote unquote sight. It is incredibly dark right now. Only 35% visibility, even though the weather is clear. So I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. We're gonna go ahead and speed up time then. See if we can get a little bit closer. All right, we have got sight of him again. And we are going to throw a few shells his way. And he's only going 11 knots, so he's not super fast. So let's throw a couple shells into him here to see what happens. I could throw a few star shells up and get a couple of, uh, get, the, get the visibility up a little bit. But if I'm going to be firing manually, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. If, if I'm going to be firing with AI, then it will make a difference. Oh, that was close. That was close. Let's, let's extend our range just a little here. Extend the range. There you go. Nice. One go HE. There you go. Nice. Get some good hits on him. Oh yeah. Right in the engine compartment, baby. Love it. And he's got a fire going, so that's good. HE shells are doing their work. Oh, bro. I have to pay attention here. There you go. Another good explosion. Awesome. He's down to 10 knots. Very good. Nine knots. Excellent. Excellent. Six knots. Oh yeah. Getting some good hits on him now. Except for except that one. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Dropping them right on top of him. Got several fires a brewing. A brewing. Really, guys? Come on. You know how this works. There you go. I'm going to throw a few uh, star shells on him, then we'll let the AI uh, fire a few shots if he can do any better than me. Surely he can. Don't call me Shirley. Those well, star shells are way off. <laughs> Let's see if the HE shells can do pretty good work here. What's he looking like? Heavy, heavy. Alright. A few more hits, he should be in 
really bad shape. Let's see, if, there we go. Good. Hey, I was getting good hits on him. Oh. Right after I said they was getting good hits. Missed. Okay. Hold your fire. Let's do it ourselves. He's barely moving, so should be should be easy to maintain some good hits here. All right, she's at critical heavy now. Flames are still raging, and uh, she's not looking too good. She's at zero knots, so she's not moving at all, and she's sinking. Boom! We're seeing it. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! I got a few lingering shots that are in the air. <laughs> All right, cool. She, oh darn, shucks, shucky darn. Okay, another command point. Sweet. So you go ahead and uh, you just continue to patrol this area. That ought to be good. And over here, oh look what we got here. A little DD. Oh, but it's too late at night. To, uh, to see anything here. Uh, ooh, ee, ee, ee. Dewey, need you to intercept this guy and merge up with him, please. Oh, we do have air, uh, aircraft now, but none are ready to be used at Wake Island. All right, Dewey, need you to merge, please. It's not within 16 miles. Uh, the map is so huge that. It's always uh, further away than you think. Okay, so we are bringing some additional what? Anything? What are you doing? We're bringing some supplies and engineering and fuel. Okay, down to Wake Island. That way we can start replenishing our planes there. Alpha is going to come back to Midway and they... Enemy troops defeated at Port Moresby. Great what I like to hear right there okay good so that battle will be over I'm gonna have to start bringing some stuff down to uh, Milne Bay and Port Moresby to renew these aircraft down here because uh, it's a uh, it's uh, it's in bad shape let's just come on and bring some aircraft up I mean I don't want to get too crazy with it because uh, I don't want to get intercepted and lose those planes so we'll just do something like that for now. Could go ahead and do the same thing down here with my air cobras and just bring them down. Oops, no, 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 thank you. Something like that. All right, so those guys are doing that. Alpha is on his way up and Midway is going to spawn in a new carrier. So we need our first carrier in the mix, and we are going to bring out, who are we going to bring out? Yorktown, it's got lots and lots of uh, Dauntlesses, which I like. Lexington, same. Lexington 1942, same. Wasp has slightly fewer. And then these others are not available yet, okay. So, let's take a look at the... Yorktown is the cheapest. At 125 points. Well, the Wasp is, I guess, the cheapest. But she's also the worst. <laughs> compared to the other. As far as... Not the worst. Uh, as far as aircraft loadout, she's got the fewest. Um, let's take a look at her... Uh, armor here. So, Yorktown... Yeah, Yorktown is definitely a better carrier. We're just going to go ahead and get the Yorktown. Bring her on out. Bink. And she is going to merge up with you. There we go. And you just pop on into here, please. Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some additional troops and supplies with 
this group and they will go down here and we really need a bunch of supplies because we're going to do a launch point from here down to Tarawal and then Tarawal down to one of the uh, Solomon Islands so it may be Guadalcanal maybe Santa Cruz it may be Shortland Shortland's got the best airfield but will be in danger of uh, the Rabaul bases here so uh, I have to be careful of that I'm going to go ahead and say supplies mostly because we're going to need lots and lots of supplies to be moved out and we've got supplies uh, plenty here okay you come on down to Wake Island we'll drop these off and then we'll start heading down to do some patrolling in this area just to keep keep things safe just to keep things safe don't want to be too hasty. I'm thinking maybe one more submarine to uh, patrol around in this area. Up here, I don't know. Do they spawn out of out of here? I don't know where all they spawn out of for the Japanese. So, all right, enemy troops defeated at Wake Island. Great. So it is fully and truly ours. I'm going back to Midway Island to get just a few more supplies. And we're going to go ahead and unload everything at Wake Island here, if we can. Boom. Excellent. So now we've got lots of engineering and fuel up here that we can use to, uh, to start replenishing our um, airplanes. The only other bases we have are down here, and they're going to need to use some engineering and fuel and supplies and whatnot to fix the integrity of their bases but it's not going to be until one week so um but, 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 but let's see one fuel and one engineering per week per airfield of port level okay so he's only got a level one so he he's, he'll be fine he's got level four with these combined so he'll be fine uh and he'll be fine for one more week as well so We've really got another week we can uh, use to get some supply down there. So I'm going to go back to Midway one more time. And we're going to grab one more load of engineering fuel and supplies. And uh, bring them down to Wake. And then we'll move on down to Tarawa. And then we'll move on down to Milne Bay and Port Moresby. I just saw a scout over here in the middle of the night. So, beware. All right, manage my cargo here. We're going to grab more supply. More supply. More supply. We're going to need lots and lots of supply. There we go. Come on back down to Wake. And looks like we've got some encounters down here. So, where are all these planes coming from all right so there's something going out this way let's get these kitty hawks follow this guy uh can you attack these scouts no nah, couldn't find them i only gave him a little bit of a chance to, to be found but regardless Let's just wait right here right quick, see if we see where they're going from. I don't know where they're coming from. Hmm. Let's see. Can you spawn something else? Some lightnings with some bombs. Let's just fly down this way. See if you can find anything there, buddy. Hmm. Definitely out and about. There it is. We got him. Two BBs, one CA. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring these guys out, the bow fighters. Here. Cobra's got bombs. going to bring them out. Okay. Where are you going? Stick around, buddy. 
stick around. Oh, yes, ignore him. We get more planes on deck. Okay. Let's get the Beaufort with the torpedo, sure. Alright. Get all these planes together. Oh! The drums got a contact. Okay, hello. Looky, 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 looky. Looky, looky, looky. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Another CV. Supposedly. Supposedly. Looks like an MS. Unarmed. Looks like a tanker. An oiler, I mean. Armed. And another MS unarmed. There's no CV. What are you talking about? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move this way. Scope up. Turn on my radar. We're going to target number two. We're going to try to sink him with our aft tubes. And, um, uh, yep, Kiyo Maru. Try to sink him with the aft tubes, and then we will, uh, there's four of them. I don't think we'll need all four. Let's just do two. One degree spread. And then we'll uh, use the guns on the rest. See if we can sink them. All right. We have got a 99% solution, 20 degree, 21 degree angle of fire, two tubes, one degree spread, turn off manual firing, and fire. Two tubes have emptied their fish, and there they go. All right, the fish are here. They are coming in, and looks like they're both going to hit. Well, yep. Uh, will they both be duds, though? <laughs> will either one of them be active? That is the question. That is the question. I don't think the angle of impact affects torpedoes likelihood of uh, exploding in this game. <clears throat> but no luck. No, one missed. One went right under her bow. Excuse me, and the other one uh, was a dud. So, is he changing course? Or is he still running true? He's still running true. Like what? Oh, we must have hit a dolphin. All right, let's fire. Let's fire two more. One degree spread. And let's see what happens this time. <clears throat> let's see what happens this time. Ninety-nine percent solution. Should be hits. All right, two more fish coming in. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. There we go. I can't move my map. My camera for some reason. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Dud. Finally. My God. Are you kidding me right now? Jeez. Three duds. Three duds. Alright. Let's go ahead and speed her up. Turn around. She's going to run, and we're going to have to, uh, I guess, give chase. Now, what is the status of her? She is the Kiyo Maru. Mm. Oh, she's the AO. Oh. oh, is that just an anti-aircraft gun? That's not even a deck gun. Okay. Should have looked at that before. I th wasted a bazillion torpedoes on her. Alright, here we go. Surface up. We're going to go ahead and target her first. There we go. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Turn that gun and fire. There you go. Is that a hit? Can't tell. Am 
I mean, you better be hitting this range. You could spit on them at this range. Alright, is that critical heavy? Let's stop targeting. Let's go ahead and target this guy. Oh, the oiler is down. This guy's further, so let's get him wrecked. Start targeting. Who are we, who are we looking at here? Same as last time. Do you remember what they were? No. Don't. Sure. Definitely not a Macaulay. It's a Kinsyosin Maru, apparently. Okay. Fine with that. Looks good. Alright. How are we looking? 94% fire. Let's see if we get some good hits. Nice. Good. Good, 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 good. Excellent. And he's got fires. Good gravy. What we got here? Heavy, heavy. Couple more hits, and we'll leave him for the fires. Excellent, excellent. He's slowing down. He's at heavy critical. How many shots I got left? 61? Okay. Oh, yeah. He's doing Lord's work right now. Oh, my God. I wish I could have had that on a screenshot without my UI up. Okay. He gone. Target him, please. Looky, looky, looky. I'll tell you what, old drum is, uh, they're gonna be getting some medals. Uh-oh, the oiler just rolled over. Bye-bye. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Okay. 94%, 90%, 93%. Fire. Alright, drum. Start laying into her. Boom. That, I guess that was a hit. It's like it didn't make a noise. All right, we gotta hit that ton. Nice. The gunners on this drum are excellent. Excellent. Okay. That minor, minor. Oh, shucks. Critical, critical. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. She gone. She gone. She gone for sure. Oh, lordy. Oh, darn. She is sinking. Okay. Excellent. Three sinks. Three points. Very good. Let's take a look at the uh, losses here. So I've still lost that one Macaulay. They've lost now six transports. Two of them. Uh, oh, no, just one oiler. Okay. Just one oiler. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So, 
And someone asked if I could go through the uh, catalog for the ships. I kind of did a little bit already, but let's take a look just right quick for the allies. I'll just go through everybody here. So for the subs, got the S-Class, Tambor, Dado, Bilal, Tinch, and T-Class, which aren't bad little submarines either. Truant and Trusty still with us. Remember, we had them last time. And then we got uh, the K-8 Dutch submarine. I oh, was not a big fan. Oh, the Sarkoof is, uh, is now with us. <laughs> we'll have to bring her in at some point. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with her. Um, so that's it for the submarines. I might go ahead and get us a little uh, T-Class here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. We'll get us, uh, <laughs> Let's get us a little uh, T-Class going. Pink. 40 points? Ew, that's so expensive. Let's save up for another carrier. <laughs> We're going to need another carrier. All right. Just don't get distracted. Okay. DEs. What do we got? We got some Clemsons. Uh, two different styles. We've got the Everts. Buckley. Cannon. Edsel. Rutterow. John C. Butler. And that's it for DEs. Double Ds. We got the Farragut. Porter. Mayhan. Gridley. Bagley. Summers. Minum. Sims. Benson. Gleaves. Fletcher. Tribal. Jervis. V Class. Admiral TS. Admiral TS Mod. E Class. Van Gent. Van Galen. Isaac Swears. And that's it. For DDs. Light cruisers, we got the Omaha, Brooklyn, Atlanta, Cleveland, St. Louis, Adelaide, Perth, Crown Colony, Town, Denae, Emerald, Enterprise, Tromp, Java, DeRoyter, and that's it for light cruisers. For the armored cruisers, we got the Pensacola, Northampton, Portland, New Orleans, Wichita, Baltimore, Alaska, County, York, and that's it for the armored cruisers. SBBs, we have got Tennessee, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, Colorado, Renown. Oh, do we actually have the Renown? Yeah, cool, we do. Awesome. All right, that's it for SBBs. CVs, oops, oh, excuse me, uh, BBs. We've got the North Carolina, South Dakota, Iowa, Montana, Illinois, Kearsage, uh, Queen Elizabeth, King George V, and that's it for BBs. CVs, Yorkton, <laughs> Yorktown, Lexington, Lexington 1942, Wasp, Essex, Essex Longbow, Longbow Essex Late, and that's it for CVs. CVLs, we've got the Bogue class, we've got the Independence class, we've got the Casablanca class, and that's it. And they are all late in the war, unfortunately. And then we got uh, MS and AO. So that is the catalog for our troops. Let's go ahead and play just a little bit longer here. Oh, yeah, we got this uh, encounter down here. I forgot. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. you waited a little long there, didn't you? Now you're engaged by some uh, enemy fighter cover. Those guys are going home, unfortunately. Ooh, ooh. Are you guys gonna be able to make it? Yeah, you'll be able to make it. You guys will be able to make it. All right, so we'll go ahead and begin with the lightnings. We'll see if we can run in and get some hits. We've got lots and lots of bombs. So, battleships aren't gonna feel the bombs that much so do, is there a nice cruiser here yeah there's a cruiser there oh lordy they do have the two battleships here and then we got this uh, this cruiser we could go for the cruiser she's right in the middle the battleships of course the Congo we could go for her on the side here Congo's not that tough as far as armor goes so I'm thinking we might just go for Congo. I'm going to form up and line ahead. 
and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get close to her before the enemy air cover arrives okay we're just going to drop on Congo. I know we dropped on the uh, Issei lat. Was it? No, it wasn't Issei. It was Puso, wasn't it? I get those two mixed up for whatever reason. And they both have those giant superstructures. Let's see. I think this might be Puso. Yeah. It's Puso. Tis, tis, tis. Issei looks slightly different. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anywho, anywho, we're going for the Congo, and uh, we're going to continue to climb, please. We're going to get as high as we can so that uh, the P-38s are less vulnerable to any aircraft fire. Those, they won't be up to 10,000, and we saw already that, uh, that they uh, can still get shot down. There they are. Way little tiny dots. Okay. Let's go ahead and slow down. Nee. That was bad. That was bad. I didn't expect them to get there so soon. <laughs> I expected them to be able to slow down faster than that. Okay. That's fine. They didn't. We're fine. This is fine. We're fine. This is fine. Okay. Congo is going to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a mosquito bite here. There they are. You can fire that. Lots of mosquito bites up there. Mosquitoes are biting back. We're about to bite back anyway. I don't anticipate the Congo is going to have any heartburn from it, but you never know. Okay. Not the ideal uh, placement of the bombs, but I'm getting nervous, so let's uh, go and drop. Bombs away! There they go. Two bombs each. Bombs are away. Speed up. Break to the right. Get out of there. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Not the ideal placement. I knew it wasn't. But uh, if I would have... Uh, Oh crap, enemy aircraft. If I would have uh, dropped them independently, probably could have done better. Probably could have done better. Holy crap, okay. Let's uh, let's just continue on our way. Nice. <laughs> Get these army brats out of here. Get him. Oh, he got a little hit on that guy. You gonna shoot this guy or what? Are you gonna attack this bro or... What's the deal? Just gonna let your wingman get shot down? You're very irresponsible. Not to mention we're having a dog fight here in the freaking middle of the... Let's get out of here. Get out of there. 
I'd rather just retreat at this point and try to engage these guys. We're getting too close to the ships. Don't shoot him down. Don't shoot him down. What's the uh, speed of these bad boys? Ah, they're way slower than us. Way slower than us. Okay. We can just leave. Good. Good, 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 good. So we've got two of these guys left. They have bombs, even. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and leave. Fantastic. No airplanes lost. You guys are RTB. All right. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Both fighters were engaged by... Uglies. Unfortunately, um, the ships have not chosen to spawn in. So, I am going to retreat. Alright, let's see if we can get these ships to spawn in here. There they are. There they are. Yeah, let's get these guys on up here. Oh yeah, come on up. There we go. Is this really a carrier here? Or is this just the battleship group that we just saw? I want to say this is probably just the battleship group, right? Yeah. Okay. Does he still have damage at all? Number seven still has minor, okay. So we could go after Congo, go ahead and sink her maybe? The bow fighters have bombs. The bow fort has torpedo. So, go ahead and grab you. Speed up. Go down. Go up this way. You. Go up. And we're going to target number seven as well. We'll try to time it so that they get there at the same time. All right, you go after Congo with the old torps. We're gonna go in with the bombs. All right. Looks like they are focusing on the bow fighters, perhaps. At least with the uh, flat guns. Machine guns probably still fire at bow forts. He's a much easier target. All right. Yep. Come on, Beaufort. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Get them British torpedoes in there. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Oh, no. Oh, she didn't get her fish away either, did she? Yes, she did. She did get her fish away. And it is on track. It is on track. Freaking heroes. Freaking heroes right there. Nice. Directly amidships. Good hit. No fires. What we got? <laughs> Minor. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yep, lost another bow fort. I think that was our last bow fort as well. Let's see if bow fighter can do a little damage to old Congo here. We probably should have just went for the cruiser, you know? Probably should have, but... It's just a little more heavily armed, uh, not armed, uh, covered, you know? This This is on the edge of the formation. He's right in the middle. All right. Let's drop. All right. Bombs away. There goes all the bombs. Beautiful. Speed up. Get out of here. Get on out of there, boys. All right, he's he's trying to dodge. He's trying to dodge city. Going to dodge city. Here we come. Dodge city. Here we come. Oh, he did dodge him for the most part. 
Any fires? No. More minor damage? Yeah. Yeah. Bummer, dude. They are going for Port Moresby for sure. Ah, that's not what I wanted. They're going for Port Moresby for sure. To, uh... To bomb the crap out of them. Nothing I'm going to do to stop them. Well, it might be something I can do. No. Boop, 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 boop. Why did you... Why did you choose these bombs? The other ones are the semi-armor person. Okay. That's okay. Because you're a fool, that's why. Don't call me a fool. It's rude. Alright. Let's grab these guys with armor piercing. Come on down. Lightnings, can we find the task force? Before they get here. I mean, they're not going to do much of an invasion, but they can totally knock down this airfield. Can we just do a little search here. Oh, there they are. Okay. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna knock it down. Dang. All right. Air Cobras, need you to go into tactical, please. All right, warm up. Circle up. Circle the wagons. And there's the there's the ships. Okay. Should I just go ahead and get this cruiser? I feel like might be best if we just go ahead and get the cruiser and at least maybe we might be able to sink her with the bombs that we got Congo or the Fuso no way no way both of them together are gonna do a lot of damage to this uh, airfield in fact this is probably the last time we'll see these airplanes because they're gonna get knocked all the way out in fact I might just use them to strafe these destroyers after we uh, Dropper bombs because uh, they're going to be worthless to me. Because I'm going to lose the airfield. It's a bit of a risk to assume I'm going to lose the airfield and just sacrifice my planes, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right, let's move on up as well with number one for you. Here we go. All right, we are on track to bomb this armored cruiser, Aoba class. Interesting. Pretty hefty. Pretty hefty. All right, Aoba, you're about to eat some Bombos. You're ready for this. She thinks she's ready. Okay, she's turning hard. Gotta get out of her path. Not gonna work though, is it? Not gonna work. Alright. Here we go. Go ahead and drop with you. Lightnings, I need you guys to slow it on down, bad boys. Oh, are they already going slow? No, they're not. Okay. Slow it on down. Oh, yeah. We really need to slow it on down there. Okay. All right. Air Cobras have dropped. There they go. Go ahead and skedaddle. Hello, skedaddle. There we go. Let's see if we can get some hits here. Skedaddle. What are you doing?
Come on, come on. Ah! Oh, bracketer, man. Turd nugget. Okay. Going to slow these bad boys down. Alright. Cannot believe we missed. Cannot believe we missed. I mean, I can't can believe we missed. But I don't want to believe that we missed. Because that means we missed an opportunity to save our airfield. That's with two battleships and a cruiser. Ugh, forget about it. They're gonna knock that down to nothing. All right, we're gonna drop with this first guy. Second guy, break. Target him. And we are going to. Uh, Drop with him. Third guy. Break. Target him. Drop. There we go. Now all three of them. And form back up. Speed up. Get the heck out. Alright, let's see if we get any hits this time. Come on, these are not armor piercing bombs, unfortunately. These are nothing bombs. High explosives. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. Could go ahead and leave. We're going to lose these aircraft because he's going to knock out our. Uh, all right, here goes the lightnings coming in for their first strafe of this destroyer. Nice. Okay. Get down there. Get out of there. All right, what are you guys doing? getting wrecked. Let's just get out of here. Oh, we got shot down. Oh my gosh. Alright. We'll just go ahead and leave. There's no reason to continue this raid here. I'm gonna lose them, but they might not shoot down our, uh, they might not shoot, destroy our airfield, so I don't want to lose all my planes, just in case. So. Got moderate damage on number three. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, ugh. Ugh. I, I got a bad feeling about this. Yep, there it goes. Yep, there goes my airfield. There it goes. Well, I had a bad feeling about that, so. Let's go ahead and do the uh, armor piercing bombs, I guess. These uh, bow fighters. Bring them on out. And uh, see if we can find these guys before they leave. It's almost evening time. Couldn't have gone far. That's the bad thing is you don't know. Is it because they've gone out of range or is it because that stupid cooldown timer? Let's just go into tactical and see if we can find them. And I guess not. All right. Well, bummer. Okay. Well, they have uh, punched us back. We've we've given them several punches in the throat. They have decided to punch us back. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.